Hope has kids once again excited about trading cards. That when we return. Weather won't wait. It's Monday morning during News Channel 6 today and throughout the week on News Channel 6. Watch Lourdes Life Stories. In the town square of Marion, Illinois, stood a building right next to City Hall. For years, it had been an empty eyesore. That was until last month. Marion native Dan Fox purchased the building and in a short four-week four week span turned it into a premier sports card shop. We had the privilege of meeting up with Fox earlier this week to get a first-rate tour of his dream come true. This is also uh, uh, a similar piece. When Dan Fox took out a six-figure loan for a 100-year-old empty building, he wasn't sure what to fill it with until his wife came up with the perfect idea. My son and I were driving up to St. Louis to a card show, going to Chicago to a card show, and I came home from one of these shows one night, and my wife said, well, have you thought about maybe a card shop up there? You know, just a little mom and pop. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought what a perfect idea it was. That's the card I'm proudest of. What's that worth? Uh, I would say probably about 700 to $1,000. Cards this valuable aren't exactly rare in shops like this, but Dan Fox's philosophy on them is... Do I think any, any kid's going to buy this? No. But do I think he should see it? Yes. I don't, th I, don't, I don't see a lot of kids coming in with $40 to spend on a card. But I do think they ought to see those, um, just so they know. They, they live in a town that's worth living in, if, you, if you've got a store that has that. So. But Fox Sports Cards is more than just cards. We carry autograph memorabilia from uh, baseball, football. You wanted to look over here, Ralph Kiner, Ferguson Jenkins, Brandon Jacobs from SIU, who's playing for the Giants now. But like any good businessman, he knows how to cater to his most loyal customers. This is uh, the better side of the two. Uh, and these are all Cardinals, all signed memorabilia. The store's been a big hit since opening last month. Fox's big hope? is attracting the kids and getting them interested in a hobby that he himself enjoyed so much as a youth. I think it's just healthier than most of what kids are doing today. I don't spend time on a computer, uh, you know, or, or a video game. I, I, I don't understand that when, you, uh, when you've got these kind of hobbies out there. And so, uh, but frankly, these kids haven't had this. Thanks to Dan Fox, they do now. This guy here who's a policeman here in Marion, his son pulled this um, throwback Mickey Mantle jersey in our first trade night. A free, he got a free box of cards and um, very nice piece. Very, very nice piece. Kids of Southern Illinois deserve this. Um, whether we make money at it or if we don't. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that every kid should have this in his town. Uh, certainly the kids at Marion should, so. Had a chance to go up there and spend some time with him. I mean, I'm a baseball card collector myself, yeah, sitting around neat. talking to him. And even if you're not looking to buy stuff, it's certainly worth the trip up because he has so much memorabilia in there. It's just a really, really yeah. nice shop up there in downtown Marion. So, uh, job well done, Dan Fox. Absolutely. Now, I, real quick, do you have any uh, valuable cards in your collection? Nothing to the Mickey Mantle $1,000 rate. Uh, maybe a couple <laughs> hundred dollars here and there, but uh -huh. nothing like that. Cal? Yeah. You got anything? Uh, I've given them to my son, actually. <laughs> okay. I, I gave him a Hank Aaron card with the M on his cap. Very cool, old, very cool. I think I've got a Barry Bonds rookie card. We'll see if that's one thing <laughs> or not. I don't know. Thanks for staying up with us. Good night.